the coefficient of x power 8 in the polynomial x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 up to x minus 10. So we know that if you really uh, multiply these terms and then expand it, x power 8 requires 8x, correct? Product of 8x. So x from each of these 8 times. And then other two, we should not pick the x but product of the numeral part, correct? So the coefficient of x power 8 is sum of any two numerals basically, okay, which are not equal to itself because x minus 1 into x minus 1 is not there, correct? So that we should take it. So if you write it, okay, so something like this. The coefficient of x power 8 is 1 into 2, 1 into 3, up to 1 into 10. Anything is possible because I need two numerals. Okay, 2 from 1 to 10 I am picking. Okay, and then other thing is 2 into 3, 2 into 4, up to 2 into 10. Okay, 2 into 2, 1 into 1, uh, 2 into 1 I am not picking because 2 into 1 is already covered and 2 into 2 is not possible. Correct? Here also 1 into 1 is not possible. That's fine. Okay, then 3 into 4, 3 plus 3 into 5 up to uh, 3 into 10. Okay, so on you will have 9 into 10 in the end. Okay, so now you can just simplify this and uh, uh, this is the answer basically. You have to just uh, uh, simplify this and then uh, find out the value. Okay, so if you want to simplify in a mathematical way, you can do this way. If I add 1 to this one basically, okay, this is nothing but sum of 10 integers which is 10 into 11 by 2 minus 1 because I added 1 1 I am subtracting 1 plus if I take 2 common this is sum of 10 integers 1 and 2 are missing okay so sum of 10 integers minus 1 and 2 this sigma 2 uh, means I mean to say uh, up to 2 basically 1 plus 2 okay so similarly for 3 it is 3 if I take common it will be sum of 10 integers minus sigma 3 this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 okay so similarly so we just simplified what the answer you will get is 1320 that's the answer thank you please like and subscribe to our channel